Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use Internet Explorer in Windows 11. So I'm sure you know that Internet Explorer has been replaced by Microsoft Edge and uh, every version of Windows are trying to just bury Internet Explorer deeper and deeper. So like in Windows 10 you could actually do a search for Internet Explorer and open it, but if you do that in Windows 11, it just brings you up Edge. So there's a couple ways you could do it. Um, one way is through your Internet options and another way is making a little a VBS file here, so I'm going to show you both ways. So the first way, if you go to your Internet Options, just do a search for Internet Options. You can also get to this from Control Panel. And then you have your Internet Properties here. Then you want to go to your Programs tab, Manage Add-ons, and then down here at the bottom, where it says Learn More About Toolbars and Extensions, if you click on that, that'll open up Internet Explorer. And then what you can do, once you have it open, you could right-click on it here, pin to Taskbar, and then once you close it, you have it down here, just like that. So another way, I have this text file here, so you could take this text, which I'll put in the description, put it in Notepad, save it as whatever you want to call it, Internet Explorer. Make sure you say .vbs, make sure you don't put txt. Let's save that in our, I'm going to save it in documents and I'll show you why here. Okay, so now if we go to documents, we have this Internet Explorer VBS. Double click it, opens up Internet Explorer, kind of does blank, you got to click on home there. But what you could do, because the reason I put it in documents, because if you want to change the icon, you can't do it from the file. You can only do it from a shortcut. So you could make a shortcut, right, right drag it to the desktop here. Now you got your shortcut. And if you right click on your shortcut and go to properties, then you can have this change icon option. You, you will only have this with the shortcut, not with the actual file itself. So it's up to you if you want the shortcut or not. And then you can do this and find something that looks like Internet Explorer. And then you can even change the name to get the shortcut off of there. And then you got your Internet Explorer. So like I said, from this way, for at least for me, it, it gives you like a blank page and you got to click on Home, where the one down here that we made the other way seems to work okay. And one thing you notice too, if you go to your Options, under General, there's no Change Home page in this version of Internet Explorer, at least you know, in Windows 11, where on Windows 10, you still have the option to change your home page, so you're stuck with the uh, MSN page unless you can figure out a way around it. Okay, so once again, a couple ways. Let's just go over real quick here. Do a search for Internet Options. Or just go to Control Panel. Programs tab. Manage Add-ons. Click this link, lean, learn more about toolbars and extensions. And then you could... Uh, you know, right click on it once it's open and pin it because if you close it and you don't pin it, it's going to be removed from the taskbar and you'll have to go into, you know, do these steps each time, which you, you're not going to want to do unless you're not going to use it that often. Or you could do the uh, VBS file using this. So up to you. All right. So like I said, I'll put that in the description and you could check it out and see how it works for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>